All right, guys, drill number six. Now, we're going to call this the Masvidal because this is the, common, the exact combination I knocked Masvidal down when we fought at Madison Square Garden, UFC 217. Go check that out. NMF versus the BMF. It's kind of like my nicest way to, to call you out again, pal. I'm coming for you. Again. All right, same drill, shuffling forward, angling off to the side. Now it's time to put the hands together. All right, so as we're here, always bouncing, obviously, you know, disguising my initial movement. Now, when I did this, we were moving, right? We were moving around the, 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 the octagon, and I knew that he liked to throw a jab, okay? So what I did was I, I shuffled forward, I threw my jab, I kind of slightly moved my head off to the side a little bit, which helped me lean to get on my angle for the two. So I threw my jab, and I stepped off to the side. He threw his jab, which left him open, and that's when I hit him with the two. Now, there's two spots I like to aim with when I, when I strike the head, especially the side. Either, the, either the, the tip of the chin, the, actually three, the jawline, or the ear. Yes, the ear. You've seen so many guys get hit in the ear. You can hit this part right here, they get, they, they get this, discombobulated, right? And that's what happened. I hit him, I, th I think I hit him right on the ear. So he's in a good fighting stance. Great drill to work, right? So let's say uh, your, your partner can throw up that front hand. That's the, that's the, the hand I'm, uh, the mid I'm striking with the jab. So as soon as I jab, I step off the angle, bang. Now if you look, my shoulders are in a straight line. People have a tendency to do this when they work this drill, to square up. Now I've got no power in my two, because I'm halfway rotating. You gotta make sure that your shoulder's in a straight line, so your two is coming from way back here and it's got all kinds of power on it. So he throws it up, one, shoulder's in a straight line, boom, then the two right there. I like to kind of leave my jab out there a little bit longer than usual, just to kind of have something in his face, you know, to keep him like, oh my God, there's something there. And almost kind of hides the two behind it. So as you're working this drill, I'm trying to, I'm breaking just this part down, but as you're working the distance management, dr distance management drills that we were working, occasionally throw this combination out there, okay? So he throws, the, he throws up that front hand, bang, step off, boom, two. Now if you notice, I like to kind of keep circling that direction keeps stays away from the power hand. So watch this. I'm here. Just like so. And then once you get better, you can really start to speed it up. Throw that out there in your mitt work. Have some fun with it. It's all about distance management and angle changes. Drill number six, guys. Distance management. Thank you guys for watching.